What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. And only 16 teams are left in the Europa League. It is Club Bruges up against Arsenal. Well Derek, we're down to the last 16 and we've got some really good sides left in the competition. Two of them are on show here tonight. Let's hope we get some open attacking football in this first leg. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. They get the ball rolling in this Europa League round of 16 first leg. Able to deal with the threat. Thomas. Arsenal have given it away. Quite a lot of discussion about him prior to this game. Taking on his old club and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason, playing against your old club can be difficult. You just feel that bit of added pressure. I hope it doesn't affect him today. Well, the ball can be the goalkeeper's best friend able to close down the shot and a fantastic diving save well it has to come soon they're creating so many chances just listen to the noise inside here Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. So now a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? 
smuggled away and possibilities here well strong play here shot attempted well he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one Martin Odegaard Gabriel Martinelli crossing possibilities well, the ball brought down under no real pressure over the touchline for a throw in Sadilek Mesure. Luka Ivanushet well, possibilities inside the box and players waiting at the far post it comes to nothing in the end Skov Olsen read it magnificently and intercepted can they hit on the break oh a nice looking pass well there is a very alert goalkeeper for you Thomas Partey it's a neat move will he finish and there is the opening goal well arguably against the run of play they've been second best up to this point but they have the lead well here's the goal again and it's a really nice ball to put him through the vision to set up the chance is outstanding and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Ivanushet. Velocity. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Awar Harrison lovely ball over the top that's all they can conjure for now Mata useful looking position you've got to say and the cross smuggled away Martin Odegaard well that's one for them to pursue And the ball's gone. Jenny. Thomas now. Martin Odegaard. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Nicely timed tackle. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. First leg of this Europa League round of 16 tie, and the second half has commenced. And the right place to cut out the pass. 
And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Just cutting off the supply. Action from the corner. Hang on, Derek. It's a chance here. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. And in with a real chance. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So, 2-0 now. This attack looks highly promising. But nothing comes of it. Skov Olsen. Matt Ritz. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Corner kick played in. Too far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Excellent ball over the top. And he might be through here. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Time for a change then. of goalkeeping it wasn't a bad free kick either could be a chance to break here Mata Luka Ivanushet at times they make passing look easy well didn't go as a plan in the end Jenny. 
Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Well, it could be on for him here. And offside it is. So a personnel change then. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Five minutes left. Harrison. The Gunners have lost the ball. Sadilek. And a good-looking ball. Breaking at pace. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Wasted possession again. Will he finish? Well, wonderful counter-attacking football. Just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. The final whistle, the first leg is over, and Arsenal currently in control of the tie. They carry a lead into the second match. Yeah, they were impressive today, weren't they? They dictated the tempo of the game, and they put their opponents under all sorts of pressure. I think they'll take a lot of confidence from this performance.